Cookie Bob just here combing my long, long hair. I tell you, with this coronavirus lockdown, I haven't been able to go to the hair salon. My hair's getting long. I think I might have to either shave it off or maybe I'll do the, what's that, the middle-aged guys, the comb over. <laughs> middle-aged guys, yeah, the comb over. I don't have a bald spot, but I could still do a comb over. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Well, I tell you, with this coronavirus lockdown, Psychic Bob has been really busy. I've been working on my house in between psychic readings. You know, not being able to go anywhere certainly makes one focus on one's home. So I've been doing a lot of house cleaning and decluttering and all of that. But today I thought, you know, I need to do a few extra chores. So I thought we'd go do some laundry today. How you guys like that? You want to come do, psych do laundry with Psychic Bob? Come on along. All right, Psychic Bob got his London laundry bag. How you guys like that? For my British viewers, check that out. There's a double-decker bus, the Queen's crown, the call boxes. There's the flag. There's the guard at Buckingham Palace. Got my laundry in tow. Psychic Bob ready to go and get it done. Got to get her done. <laughs> That's what Larry the Cable Guy used to say. You know, I was on his TV show. He said, got to get her done. We're down in the basement where our laundry room is. I swear I think this basement is haunted. It looks a little spooky to me. What do you think? <laughs> but our laundry room is really cool, so we're going to go in here and do some laundry today. So come on along. Now, for you guys out there who don't know how to do laundry, listen up. If you want to impress your wives and girlfriends, you need to learn how to do your own laundry. And I know for you women out there who do all the men's laundry, you need to tell your man he needs to step up to the plate and learn to do laundry. If Psychic Bob can do laundry, anybody can do laundry. First thing you want to do is make sure to separate your clothes. So right today, I don't have a lot to wash, so I'm going to do shirts here, colored shirts here, and jeans, and then whites down here. I've already loaded all my whites, my socks, underwear, t-shirts laying there. Um, but now we're going to do colored clothes over here. And by the way, since I've been decluttering my house, look what I found, a treasure. This is a vintage dashiki shirt. Now back in the 1960s and 70s, these were all the rage. And this is a vintage 1970s one. And it's an original by Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Rose was a big maker of these shirts back in the day. And since decluttering my house, I found this shirt, which was stuffed in the back of my closet, which I lost. Now I have it. So you'll be seeing Psycho Bob wear this cool happening shirt. I also found my other one, which is an orange. Um, oops, this is inside out, but actually I need to turn them both inside out. That's the other thing is I, tie, I like to turn my clothes inside out when I launder them. It just helps preserve the surface of them. So um, this is my orange dashiki, and here's my green one. And then I got some blacks. Some people don't mix blacks and colors together. They put them in different. I just throw them all together. It doesn't seem to hurt because these have been washed. They're old. They're already faded. The colors run, so it's not going to hurt anything. So there you go. All right, so let's get going. Now, the thing you don't want to forget is don't forget detergent. I'm using Gain Pods. I normally use Tide Pods. Now, I'm not being endorsed by either company, but these are really cool because since I don't drive and I have to walk over, I can buy these. They're lightweight, easy to carry home from the store, and they do a great job. You'll see their little pods, and you just throw them down in the laundry. So just tuck them back in there, close your door, and you're about ready to go. Now, for those of you out there who've been watching too much YouTube, some of you have been saying, aren't you supposed to eat the pods? Yes, believe it or not, there's a craze going on where people are eating these. Do not eat the pods. They are for laundry. They're not snacks, okay? Anybody who's eating the pods, well, you're just crazy. So don't eat the pods. Throw them in the detergent. Throw them in the laundry machine. Now, if you're lucky to live at a home or apartment where you have your own private washer and dryer, you don't need to worry about the next step. But where I live, we have to pay to do laundry. But I don't mind because I'd rather have it here and pay for it than have to go out of the building. In some apartment buildings, they don't have a laundry room, so people have to actually drive to a laundromat. Luckily, I don't have to do that. So, but what I do have is a money card. Nowadays, uh, you put money on a card and then you put it in a machine. In the old days, you used to put quarters in the machines, but a lot of people would rob laundry rooms. Nowadays, that's harder to do because everything's electronic. So 
basically here, because we have colors, I'm going to wash those on warm. So look, I put my card in, okay? And then it comes up here. It says I have $8.50. It's $1.75 for the load. And then I'm going to push warm normal. Normal, and then start. Now this wash machine is definitely made for the bachelor guy because, you know, you can't, uh, you can't mess it up. See, we've only got a few settings. Hot, permanent press, cold, or warm. This is truly the bachelor's laundry. <laughs> now here's my hots. So there we go. I've set it for hot on this one. Now I've got this washer and this washer going. This is, I have $5 left on my card, so. And both of them are starting. Now you wanna watch. Make sure that your wash machine is not leaking, it's not flooding. In a look, commercial laundromats, a lot of times the machines break down, they over flood. Now, for you guys out there who say, well, gee, my clothes are dirty, I should throw in three or four pods, three or four detergent pods. Don't do that, only use one. This stuff is highly concentrated. And I had a guy that I knew, a friend in the building, who decided to put three pods in his machine. Well, I tell you, when I came down to the room, literally it was two feet deep of suds all the way down. <laughs> it overflowed the machine and was a drama. So don't do that. Don't put three pods in and don't eat the pods because that's not a good thing either. Now we can see that we've got soap going. See the soaps going around? And it's spinning round and round. You see how that's going? So you just want to kind of keep an eye on it. And you don't have to stay down here. Um, luckily, we have security cams somewhere up there. And they keep an eye so nobody can steal our clothes. But when I first moved in here, I had somebody go through and steal my clothes. But that's been a long time ago, like 20 years ago. So there you go. You see everything spinning round and round. You know, what's that song? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. <laughs> Sega Bob's a little crazy today, you know. I don't really mind doing laundry. You know, a lot of people hate to do laundry. I don't mind it. It's kind of relaxing for me. The nice thing is that our laundry room, we also have a snack machine. So while I'm here waiting, I can order a snack to eat. See, we have crackers and chips and candy and all sorts of good things. Chocolate chip cookies. Ooh. And then we got the soda machine here and we can have our selection. And look, now this is interesting. They have Pepsi and Coke. Normally vendors only do one or the other, but this vendor does both. Now I'm not being endorsed by Pepsi or Coke, but it's kind of cool to know that I have the choice. And I got Mountain Dew, iced tea, water, Diet Coke, you name it, you can kind of have it. So this is very nice. Now, if you're one of these people, you get overwhelmed by doing laundry, you have an anxiety attack, not to worry, because in our laundry room, they even have chairs. And you can sit down here in a nice chair, relax, have a snack, and there are multiple chairs, so you can hang out with people and have a social time. In the old days, you don't see it as much. People used to come down here and almost have a big party. They'd make lunch and sandwiches and hang out and drink sodas. But anyways, that's years ago. But nonetheless, it's still an option if you want to do it. You know, laundry is what you make it. So, you know, don't look at it as like, oh, it's a drudgery chore. Make it fun. Every time I do laundry, I say, I'm going to have fun today. I'm going to go buy a snack. I get excited about the new snacks. I get to see my friends in the building and say hi to them. And I hang out and just relax. That's how you do laundry. If you want to be really good at the laundry room, guys, make sure to know how long you've got for your laundry. So we know we've got 24 minutes yet till this is done. So if you decide to leave your laundry, that's fine, but make sure to come back because it's really rude to leave your laundry. Now, people generally, at least in our building, will not take your clothes out and throw them on the floor. But in some buildings, when people get impatient, they'll just grab your clothes and throw it on the floor. Don't do that, okay? So don't be a bad tenant. Don't be a bad laundromat client. Always know your time and be a tenant because a lot of people want to do laundry. You know, in this building, we've got over three or 400 units, multiple people, and this is all we have in terms of laundry mat. Now, it looks like a lot, but when you've got 300, 400 apartments, there's not a lot here to work with when you average it out, because like right now, I'm using two machines, and how many people can do laundry at a time? So you always want to be mindful, you know, that's important. While I'm waiting 
for my laundry, I've come back to my apartment and I was sitting here reflecting on the mystical red star. If you didn't see yesterday's video, you need to go check that out because we did a whole video about working with the magical red star. So if you missed that, go check it out. It's in the queue right before this video. Also, a reminder, this is my newest painting. It's called Alternate Reality. And if you want to get a copy of it, it is now available for free download print copy at my website. So pop over there and check it. Oops, I got some shadow here. But this is my newest painting, Alternate Reality. So yeah, check it out. So you can go check out the Red Star video and go to my website, psychebob.com, and get a free painting. All right, guys, as I've said, to be mindful as a tenant, we want to also remember to get our laundry in time. So it's time for Psycho Bob to pick up his laundry. So we're going to head on down and grab our laundry. Come on along. And look, we timed it just right. My laundry is all done and we're ready to go. So we got to unload it. One of the things that makes laundry really fun is when you find one of your favorite shirts. And that, today I got to wash one of my favorite shirts. This is part of my clothing line, my art shirts. This is Green Frenzy. And if you like this shirt, you can get this over at my merchandise store. So just look below this video and you'll see the t-shirts advertisement. And it says Psyche Bob's Merch Store. So go there and get your free t-shirt. You can get Green Frenzy. And it's a reproduction of my famous piece that started my clothing line and my art series. And it's got my signature on it. And you can see, so there you go, Green Frenzy. So if you like that, you can get one of these for yourself. And then you can wash it every week just like this. And speaking of fun shirts, here's my newest shirt in my clothing line. It's my painting, Blue Reality. Oops, it's, it's kind of wrinkled here. Can you read that? Blue Reality by Bob Hickman. And there you go, there's Blue Reality. A lot of you said how much you enjoyed this painting. And if you like this painting, you can get it in t-shirt form. And uh, it looks much nicer than showing up on camera here. But uh, this is a really cool painting. It was done in monochromatic blue. And uh, if you like it, again, go to my merchandise store below this video. Check it out. There's Green Frenzy. I'll tell you, one of the things you'll find about my shirts is that they're very high quality. Um, very, very good quality. They don't fade. They're very solid, very thick. I think you'll really enjoy them. So check these out. These are just two of many that I have in my merch store. Also, for those of you who haven't seen it, we also have Blue Reality in a white shirt. So I have it in black shirt or white. This is the white shirt. And it's interesting because I think that on the white shirt, uh, the color is a little more vibrant. It just brightens it up a little bit. Whereas the black brings out the deeper, darker, mystical side of the page. The white brings out the highlights. So it's kind of interesting. The contrast between the two but there you go blue reality in white or black and of course we've got our famous dashiki that I showed you earlier so it's like Bob's getting all his clothes together now at this point in the, the, the laundry process most people go over here to our dryers these are our dryers and um, they're also made for bachelor guys they have high temperature medium temp low temp and delicates very simple. Um, I like to hang dry my clothes. I don't really like to dry them. I think it wears them out quicker. So I'm going to hang dry all my clothes. But if I wanted to, I also have the option to dry. Well, Tubies, our laundry is done. And now it's time for lunch. I'm out on the street. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. It's a little blustery, a little cooler than yesterday. But our Sun Lord is shining down, looking spectacular. Hail to the Sun Lord gonna go up here and see what's going on I'm gonna try McDonald's again I'm gonna see if I can get uh, get in without being thrown out but you never know <laughs> anyways come on along here we are outside McDonald's let's see if second Bob can go in without being banned and thrown in the street looks like they got some business going on <laughs> <sighs> Feels good to get out and walk. Yeah, with all this quarantine, I've just been in my house. And as I said, I've been getting a lot done, so it's been really productive. I just need a little break. Here we go. Let's hope it's open. Oh, 
can get in, yeah! <laughs> Still got up all the tape. TV, so I'm able to order lunch. Well, it's a whole different crew, and everybody's being nice to them. So this is a this is a good scene. TVs look just like I've got. <laughs> I got my lunch. Oh my gosh! I tell you, whole different crew here today. They're so nice to me. Even let me film. I tell you, those other people didn't know who I was. Yeah, we've got to be careful here. A lot of people still going through the drive through. So guess what? We got our lunch, and that means mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> well, guys, I had such a fun time hanging out with you today. I hope that some of you bachelor guys out there learned how to properly do laundry for a psychic bob. Tell me, if you're a woman and you're, you do your husband's laundry, do you think he might learn something from today's video? I'd love to hear from you. Well, guys, thanks for being here. Listen, help Psych Bio. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends. Hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We would love you to be here. And if you want to give me a call, get on my schedule for a private reading, give me a call, 703-825-3929. I look forward to connecting with you guys. You guys rock. I'll see you back here tomorrow. It's tomorrow, Friday. Free for all Friday. I don't know. I think we might go down to the river tomorrow. But let's see how that goes. <laughs> well, guys, bless it, Vinny.